State University, USA, and those ones from Makara University coming down every year, and they tr they train uh, uh -huh. in two schools in Kamuli. They establish gardens for the different crops, and these crops are consumed by the pupils in these schools, and some are even given materials to take home because we look at these pupils as our ambassadors, because we can't reach everyone in the community. We can't mm -hmm. reach every home in the community. But these people, our ambassadors, they take the messages home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are the sub-counties you are working on? We're operating in... Um, the school program is operating in three sub-counties. And these ones are Namasagali, Butansi, and Ibukulumbia. But we have other projects like uh, the Great Lakes Cassava Initiative project, which is focusing on uh, the cassava diseases. You know, it depends on what you have in your basket. Who are the donors you are working with? Uh, Kamuli Vedico is large. Kamuli, we are working with Iowa State University. Uh, it's uh, one of our, it's the major donor here. We are working with uh, Catholic Relief Services. And also, yeah, the projects we are implementing here are those. But Vedika is large. Uh, we get funds from um, Netherlands. We also get funds from local organizations. And uh, we keep fundraising. To listen that from there, when someone takes it, they not have problems in using it to make it, to turn it into manure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That is very interesting. Mm, I would uh, have no problem of um, collaborating with you in this line of um, waste management and how best we can make of uh, the wastes. But maybe the question is going to be how. Because we have structures in place. We have uh, extensionists who move out to the communities to offer extension services. And still in the communities, we have other structures. We have the community-based trainers. We call them community-based trainers. They reside in the communities and reach out to the households we are working with. Uh, still down, we have the farmers themselves or the households which we reach out to. Then when um, my concern is if we are to sensitize some of the community members on this aspect, at which level are we going to do it? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe before we we go we go into the details. Mm -hmm. Let me give a chance to these visitors to also talk something mm -hmm. before we can proceed. How do you see it? Sleep? Yeah, what I see here for, to, to start is we don't have very much time. Well, it, it was our fault, not yours, so mm -hmm. to be clear. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think the main thing is to, what I see is that there's Lots of opportunities for cooperation. You are exactly, exactly in the field where you could play a part in this project, I guess. But we are just starting to sort the waste out in the bunkers in uh, Kamuli. We visited this week. Some it was in some bunkers it was separated. The separation was well done. In others, it's still a mess. There are guides and change agents going to the households to, to sensitize people. So it will improve in the time. So we have, I think we have some time to, and there's also a group of farmers involved already, 15 of them. And I think we should first see how, how it works out, the, the system they have set up here in Kamudi. And then and then see what your part can be. Mm -hmm. that, that's 
how I look at it. Okay. But there's lots of opportunities for, because you have the trainers, you have a structure, you, you work on uh, organic manure, etc. They have community based trainers, etc. So it's, it's all right for picking, so to say, as, mm. as if it was a banana.